<clears throat> Hello. Just waiting for everybody to get the notification and come on in and say hello. It's Wednesday today, right? Yes. Okay, because I called it Hump Day with Gizmo. What? Hump Day with Gizmo. Hump Day? Yeah, that's what you call Wednesdays, Hump Day. Oh, not in England. Hi, Luna. Oh, gosh. Well, then people are going to be confused. Oh, good boy. Maybe I should change the title. For, humping means well, humping means in my book. yes, but people call it the hump day, like the middle of the week. Oh no, never heard that in my life. Oh, it's called that loads. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thanks for anybody who checked out our premiere with us for that little cute video. He was talking a lot. Ooh, I like that little font on that. That's super cool, Dutch. Hi, Holly. Hi, Janies. <clears throat> Gizmo's due for a talk because he had a little snack. He's been hanging out. So hopefully we get some good talking action on this live. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin. Wait, why did I just call you Caitlin? Sorry, Kate. Okay. Um... Well, no, 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 so today's not his actual birthday. Celebrating that on Saturday, we're just going to talk about, um, <laughs> we're just going to talk about his birthday and when the live is and what we're going to do and hang out, so. <laughs> open, he's open, he's chilling. Hi. Just waiting for everybody to come in and then we'll get started. Hi, Kizzy. Hello. Hi. Thanks for joining from Israel. Shush. Close that. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's the hump day between the two birthdays. That's true. <laughs> All right. Giz. You gonna do some talking for us today, my boy? And then walk away and get my chat going over here. <laughs> Hi. So you take over now. I will. You want um, you want iPad for a chat? You what? Dogs. Are you going to go on that? Ooh. Oops. <laughs> there we go.
You want it? You want some? You want some? Oh, you'll be good to say it in that car. No, no, no. He will come to life. He's just eating and he's just chilling for a second. Cleaning his beaky, where are you? Oh no, oh no, this is what he's doing now. Just from a little stroke. With thy, with thy biting. Well, I did say it was hump day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hump day. He's now regurgitating for his thigh. Oh, nice. Did you actually get that out of your mouth and now you're chewing it in your hand? You're gross. That's disgusting, he got chunked out. Giz, come on, dude. He's hormonal. Paper. Get some paper to distract the thigh bite. We're just trying to distract him from um, hump day. Yep. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't like the 40% off. No, he's like, that's trash. We know your market value. We know the up. We know you still make good margins. <laughs> you can give more. We can give more off. <laughs> See, it stopped you. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Was that funny? and laughed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to be careful touching his beak because it seems to make him, um, yeah, seems to make you a little, uh, freaky dicky. Where you going? Where you going? Where? Where are we going? I love how his come on's changed. Yeah. Like, come on. It's like more teasy. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk out. Bean, come on, you've already been out twice. Come on. Come on. Just to encourage him for a little bit for you guys, I'm just gonna watch him.
not much snacks left. Try and so you can see it all. Jade's watching. Jade? Yeah, she's in the chat. <laughs> Hi, Jade. <laughs> Snack boy is just snacking. I think that's empty. Can I look? Can I look? Can I look? Wait, actually, we might be able to get that to be honest. Somebody said drop a pan or something. Oh. And they said what? What does he do when when he gets like stuck? with it, with a bang? Do you know what? It's funny. I have a video. I was putting the dishes away from the dishwasher, and I made a bang. And he didn't say his normal goddamn goddamn it. He said goddamn us. <laughs> <laughs> He's never said that before. I have it. You do? Yeah. <laughs> goddamn us. He said. Oh yes. Okay, baby. Right, there's the rest of your healthy snacks. Yeah, no, he said the, the goddamn, and I do apologise to anybody. I do, we don't like to disrespect. We never taught him that. No, we didn't um, that. We didn't teach him. If he, if he was to actually mimic, it would be a lot worse. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> but we do say the F, damn it, when we're angry now, because... I absolutely love that one. But yeah, he said, God damn us. Huh? Hi, Jane. <laughs> oh, you're not in the chat anymore? No, I'm still in there. Oh, wow. You're not, though. You're not actively participating. I know, but I'm hungry. You should you just go, go into the camera and say, Hello, I'm Jane. Wendy's <laughs> Burger. <laughs> He dances with me sometimes. I do it with him every time I used to get water when the water dispenser was there. Gizmo's birthday. I think you should tell the chat about Gizmo's big sister that posts YouTube videos and just uploaded a new video. Okay. <laughs> Jay's big sister just uploaded. Jay's big sister. I mean, Gizmo's big sister. We will, I'm actually, we'll, I'll make a post. Okay. And we will tell the chat. Yeah, and we will tell the chat. It's, um, she posts, she's a gamer. That's what these young people do these days. And um, <laughs> so, so old. um, and she posts games of herself screaming on scary games. I don't know how you do it. I couldn't do it. Giz, what are you still finding to eat? My fingers smell of one yawn. Aww, <laughs> he's my best friend. Really? You can see him in one of those ads. Oh yeah, you have a cold, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Gaze. Gaze. There's some um, uh, uh, some deals this week. What do you think about those? What do you think about those deals this week? Huh? How do you feel about those deals, guys? Are you happy with these deals? <laughs> the way he's just froze. It's because you're there. <laughs> okay, um, I'll leave you tearing knives up in peace. I'm sorry. Winter coats. How do you feel about that? I actually realised that. How about that? Probably came from here. Well, yeah, you said it was an accident. How about that? <laughs> Someone said, "What an odd-looking cat." Oh, I don't think it is. I think it looks like a perfect cat to me. Meow. Meow. Gizmo did quack today. He just went quack. <laughs> Who is Giz's favorite sibling? Me. Um, I would say Jesse. What is that? Did you puke and now you're licking it? Because there's something weird on there. Being real wet. Get a money. What? Oh, oh. Giz, can you count for us? No. He's like, I will not. I will not do what you say, you peasant. I'm gonna come sit with you, Giz. Just Giz and I. Mommy and bird. Mommy and bird. He's saying that a lot. Like he has been saying that a lot. Like Mommy and bird. Oh, and last night he said, um, when you were upstairs and he heard you talking, he said, that's my mom. Oh, oh okay. Giz. That's my mom. That's my mom? Oh, Giz. Uh, he has a lot of nicknames, and he's named them all himself. <laughs> Haven't you, Giz? Officer Gibby? Oh, Officer Gibby's coming back. He even sang Bad Bird today. He was like, Bad Bird, Bad Bird. Oh, what? Yep. Bad Bird's coming back? Oh. Okay, all right. He, um... Oh, Bean, come on. Right, I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> he does look all bad. Can you just see your red, red butt? Yeah. <laughs> your red butt's cute. Come on. You come on. Your friends want to see you. They want to say hi to you, Giz. Mum's not in camera mode. She's got a mum bum. Can you give him something? No. He's eaten enough. Come on, Giz. Giz. Ooh. Ooh. What's Did that? Come? Good boy. Up you go. <laughs> Here he comes. Good boy. Wow, Mr. 
Dude, Ray, you're so strong. Come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hang on. You're quite demanding. What snacks are you having, Gibby? What you eating? Ooh. Is this good snacks? <clears throat> oh. What's coming, chat? These oh. people um, actually can't fly. Gizmo was caged for 16 years. He was stuck in a cage for his whole life, really, until we rescued him in April of 2022. So we haven't even had Gizzy a year yet. And he's working on his wing strength, but unfortunately, because he was trapped in there and he never learned how to fly, he does not know how at all. Um, and we talked to the vet. We had a vet appointment last week. And they said, you can keep trying with him and maybe he'll get strong enough. Like he has enough strength to kind of glide down to the floor, but he doesn't know how. And unfortunately, that's something we, we can't, like it's hard to teach. We have to just give it time and hopefully he might be able to pick it up. But unfortunately, she said chances are pretty low that oh he'll God. be able to. Like, yeah. She didn't really say. She just said, well, she he could, you could try. He could try, but... If they don't learn at a young age, then they don't really learn. Yeah, so chances are low, but he he's okay. He doesn't okay. have to fall safely. Yeah, um, and also he it doesn't affect his health. He still like obviously would be good for better for his health to be able to like fly and get more exercise in. But Gizzy does lots and lots and lots of laps around the house, even though he says birds don't walk. Oh, he's been saying that I got that today. You when did? He says the walk, he goes, it's almost like he's saying birds don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Birds and, don't work. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, and I, uh, I have a lot of like, I filmed him a lot today and he was talking a lot, but it was in like different videos. And one thing he said to me today, which was the sweetest thing, he looked at me and he was like, you're working a lot. And, um, and I was like, yes, Gizmo, I am working. I mean, I work right by him. I work with him. Yeah. But he, he it's just the way he turned around to me and he says, you're working a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bean, stop. So Giz is 16. He's having his birthday party on Saturday where he'll be turning 17. Um, but that's still super young. Like, his vet checkup was great. So the vet said he looks super healthy. She said actually she was very surprised and completely blown away on how good his feathers look. She said it's very rare that yeah. she gets African hey. greys come in that are fully feathered like him. So we used to think Giz was overweight, which he's on the very edge of it, but she's not concerned. Um, but she was just so surprised on how full and plump he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
he does flap his wings, yes. He does. Um, he... He does it when he baths and and just sometimes randomly when he's excited. We're trying to encourage him on my arm to flap his wings, but he just looks at me like I'm nuts when I'm like going up and down yeah. with my arm. But that's supposed to be a way of to like making him naturally think they're flying. Hey, Giz. So we were able to rescue Bird, um, sorry, Gizmo, when he was... So he was at a, I'm sorry, let me start over because I'm mom, like, just can't even speak. I learned how to glitch. I learned all my glitches from Giz. Okay, and start. Okay, so Emily and I really wanted to adopt a bird and rescue one. So we went to our local rescue center and reached out to them and just said, hey, is there any rescues? And they said, yes, we have some macaws. And we were and like, cockatoos. ooh, and cockatoo, yeah. So we were like, ooh, we, we would love a macaw. And they had five? No, four macaws. Yeah. Yeah, four. They had four macaws. And one cockatoo. And one cockatoo. And I was like, okay, let's go just take a look and just see. So we had everything. They did, They came out to our house, did a full inspection of their house and everything. And then we went to the house that these macaws were at. And um, we, were, we were very interested. So we did one visit. And we heard Gizmo talking in a different room. And we didn't, we kind of inquired a bit. But not he really. Just, he was just whistling. He was just talking. We were like, oh, it's so cute. Yeah. And nothing, we n n didn't really think of it. Well, we went back to do another visit because we kind of picked out the bird that we were going to originally get. But when we were there, our youngest came with us and she was really like distracted by this talking in the background and was like, who is that talking? And they were like, that's Gizmo. And she was like, please, can I see him? And she, our, our youngest is nine. At the time she was eight. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. So she, um, she's like, can I see him? And they're like, absolutely. So they took us into another room where he was by himself and alone. And um, he was just kind of clicking at us and not being like super friendly. And they said, see how he's acting right now. This is how he is. He's aggressive. He's not friendly. Um, you know, he's not adoptable because we, we don't know exactly what to do with him. They, we don't even want to go through the adoption agency or whatever. So something in us, we went home when we were still going to talk about the macaw, but we went home and something was telling us about Giz. Mm -hmm. Like just, we just couldn't stop thinking about him. So we reached out and we're like, look, what, what, what can we do? Like we were really interested in Giz and they said, if you guys want him, you can have him. Yeah. Basically. And we went that same day. And we went that same day. I'm like, are you serious? Because can I come get him now? They're like, give us an hour. Yeah. And we were like, bet. So they, they got his cage and his stuff ready to go. And we went and picked him up. And that was it. The rest was history. And it was worth every single minute. Yeah, I think that I spoke to the, the vet about it and they don't think he plucked his feathers because I think that's the only life he knew and that was the only life he he knew what, you know, I think it would have been different if now we put him back in that situation, he would probably pluck. Mm -hmm. But he didn't know any different, so he never did, which is really good. And someone, I, I forgot the name, but someone said that Apollo and Gizmo are equal. I think they are too, but in completely different ways. Mm -hmm. So they're gifted. They're very, very, very gifted. Gizmo doesn't really, we're not at that level to do tricks yet. We're, we, we're slowly learning, but everything Gizmo and I do is just, I, I put my phone up, but everything is, is raw and real. <laughs> oh, he's, he's very raw and real right now. Everything we do, like when he's talking, that's it. He's just he's just being himself. He's not working. Whereas like um, Apollo and his parents, like they have a training program, which is amazing. And I think they follow Alex, Alex's thing. Um, and I, that's amazing. But I am building up a a really really good relationship with him. And I think Gizmo's talent is in his speech, although he's not talking right now. Um, his talent is is that he talks. Let so me much. get my iPad. 
Comments. Yes, I about. agree, Nurse Marley. He 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 started getting. Um, I would say our bond happened within three months, which was crazy. I'm just trying to read the comments. And that's what I'm getting yes, he he loves eggs. Yes, yeah, somebody said it earlier. You fed your bird another bird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the thing is, Gizmo. Um, loves 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 chicken it's one of his favorite foods and parrots like gizmo um well gizmo sp species specifically is omnivore so meaning they eat, eat they can eat meat and plants hi alan hi alan no worries um yeah they do and they would eat like animals and that's why the vet said to us that they like that they like to actually um m keep their nails sharp so they can grip onto their prey and i didn't know that because we never claim to be bird experts we we learn every single day and um we experience like new things with him that we were like oh my gosh mm -hmm. i did not know that uh and that's just the way it is yeah, that is true, Willie. Hi, Norma. Greys are typically introverts and cockatoos are extroverts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, Gizmo has his moments. Gizzy. I'm just going to move him. Is that okay? Wow, well, I can't now. I'm going to stand with you with the uh, oh, iPad. Oh, okay. I'm just going to move to you. <laughs> yes, greys are the cats in the bird world. They're very sly. They're opportunists, so they are. They are. Um, he can be very sweet and loving, but he can still he can still be sly and sneaky, and take a bite like Kyle's lip. <laughs> no matter how much you can train, anybody that gets a bird that thinks they can bond and they, and even if they do bond and they their bird loves them, they will still bite. They're still mm. birds. You know, and it's their natural thing. I know it was um, a birthday present, but I want to do a shout out because she's in the... Uh... She in the chat? She was in the chat. Um... Let me find it. Hang on. Crystal. And then Susan. Crystal, are you still here? I think you're still here. I saw you in the chat not long ago. So Gizmo's birthday is on Saturday, and we have been getting so much support from everybody. And um, some people have been sending him lovely gifts. And Crystal sent Gizzy a gift. And I thought, why not? Let's share it now. And just so we could show him, because he has not seen it yet. We were holding it. For him, Should I get it? yeah, but I wanted to show you guys because it's it's actually a really cool, it's really cool. I love this one. This Can one. Wait, no, I've done it on his birthday. I'm just thinking. Let's shout him. Let's yeah, but let's. He might get some more things, so let's just show him this one. I think. Yeah, but it's on Saturday. And we'll just show him it. Wow. He's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. Can you see him? I might put this one in the chat. <laughs> Oops. Yay! What's this, guys? Cheeky coconuts. Gaze. Okay, this is hard to get out of the bag. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It just keeps coming. Gaze. Oh. What is Here this? Is. Wow, that's a cool toy, Gaze. <gasps> I love it. Right, do not be offended if you're scared of it to start off with. They do. They're not great with new things. Yeah, he's like backing up like, wow, what the hell is that? What? That's what I'm saying. Let's show it to him now so he could have it ready for his birthday. Because he just clicked. He just clicked. That means he's a little bit scared. He's nervous. This is a new really thing. cool toy, though. Giz? Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> is that a warning? It's a big, it's kind of yeah. big. Here, it's like, just big. shoot. I'll back it up. Just show it. It's pretty big. Come on, come on. 
It's a really cool one. It's got lots of fun things on it. All right, all right. Let me just, we just got to get <laughs> used to it. Once he gets used to things. That's why, I, that's why I said let's get it out now because what, we'll, what we usually do is we'll put it in a spot. Like we hung it on the side of his cage down there, um, just right on the side there. So that way he can see it and he can like check it out on his own time. Um, and then he can go explore it and make sure it's safe without us like forcing him to do so. So a lot of people that don't know, but greys are so finicky. Yes. They're hilarious. Like they have he trust issues. <laughs> Sometimes he could be great. Like, th like that toy right there, that um, big that big one right here, that thing was huge. And he was not afraid of that at all. He was like, he heck yeah. Stuff, but then he doesn't like his xylophone. He hates his xylophone. And I had this red perch that I had to give to Bird because oh, yeah. he was terrified of it. But then I put a different perch down and he was fine. They're just, you never know what you're going to get with a gray at all. <laughs> but the interesting thing is his previous family said he was terrified of toys and he never had any toys before. Come in. I'm coming. I'm here. It's okay, guys. Ooh. He's just looking at me. Stop. Ooh. You get it off? Baby. Stop. These are annoying. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Happy night. Can we get a dog stream sometime? A dog stream? Aww. She's been aggressive today. What do you mean? Dog stream thing. Yeah, she's been, how's she been aggressive? Just like, oh. At the window, someone was walking. We have a public like um, space outside. And um, oh my gosh, I've never seen her like get so angry. Yes. Gizzy, do you want to take your frustration out on some more ads? Do you? What's this? What's this, Giz? Oh, thank you, Rose. My mom actually made those flowers. It's like we have a few of those in the house. She made those for us. What do you feel about that, guys? Can you get it? Hold on, let me show you guys Bean Bean. Wait, let's see. <clears throat> Bean, just trying to show you on the camera. Hold on, let me turn the camera around and you guys can, I'll show you Bean quick. So that's awkward. There we go. This is Bean Bean. 
This is our little uh, wiener. She's a cutie, aren't you? She loves the um, she loves the birds because of the fact that they drop treats for her, and she likes to clean up all the scraps. So she's a very a big fan of the birds, and her and Bean Bean Bird and Gizzy get along great. Sometimes her and Gizzy will walk around the house together side by side, and then ask for food together. I think she likes it that he could speak English, like he could speak human, and um, which is nice. So they're a good duo. Huh, Bean Bean? You say hello. And she, for some reason, Bean loves bird treats. She's a huge fan of the little fruit pieces. So it's funny. Gizzy's not happy with me right now that I just turned the camera around. Look at this. Gibbs. You're cute. <laughs> yes. I, she does not touch the bird poop, I promise you. She does not eat the bird poo. If so, that would be a problem and I would block her out of here. But no, she eats just treats and just like drops, just the food drops, but she won't touch the poop. <laughs> Gizzy, you gonna say some, some, you gonna say hello to us? I'm gonna walk away for a second, Gizzy. I'm gonna walk away. Baby, come on. Come on, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Officer Gibby. Officer Gibby. What you doing? Where's mama? Where's mommy? Where is she? Really pumped him up earlier. Yeah, it did, didn't <laughs> it? It pumped you up. And you did your opposite Gibby. It brought him back. Oh, it did. You know it did. You were like, <laughs> was that good? <laughs> uh, he's like, no, mine was better. <laughs> Super bird. <laughs> Does Giz ever ride on Bean's back? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bean would be terrified. Bean knows the boundaries with Gizmo. Mm -hmm. And they respect each other's boundaries. Maybe Bean could ride on his. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your Bean's not very big. No, she's small. They're like, honestly, when they stand next to each other, they almost look the same size. Honestly, Bird and, um, Bird and Bean get along great, and um, they, they hang out together on Bean's window perch. <laughs> oh, Holly, the coyote is the calling. We, we used to live right next to like, a massive open space where those coyotes. That was before we got Gizmo. Um, but I, I used to actually love hearing them. Oh, Giz. 
Okay, um, let me, let me answer booty. some questions. Cleaning your booty. Um, I learned from the vet, and this is another thing that I didn't learn. They have little sacs in their butt. Like, dogs have anal sacs, where they sometimes have to have them cleaned out. Yeah, they have like an oil, like a... So, oil the, the, um, Gizmo has like a sack of oil that he gets, and he... Um, a training gland or something? Yeah, and then he puts it over his feathers, which sounds disgusting. Um, but that's how they get their oil. But his was clogged up with dust. So they unclogged his oil anal sack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it helps keep from their feathers from getting wet. Ah. And it, yeah, and it's I didn't true. know that, see? It's Still true. Happening. Cause like when you spray gizmo down with water, he don't even get wet. It just freaking falls off. It does fall off then. Yeah, he wasn't really poorly or anything, but we we haven't had him a year yet. And when we first got him, he got checked out by a vet briefly, not from home. They didn't do anything to him because he was in a new surrounding, and they wanted to wait until he was ready and trusted us to take him. So that was his first proper vet's um, appointment, and it, I, I don't think it could have gone any smoother. No one got bit, did they, babe? Nope. The vet was an absolute boss. Yeah, her and the vet tech were amazing. sometimes bother me. No, no. The only time I'm, no, I'm not even frustrated is um, Gizmo has, um, Gizmo can free roam all day, but when we're live, we, we kind of like him to be up there so we, it's just easier, because I actually personally don't like being on camera. Um, but Gizmo has just learned when he's live to just come up quite off camera, but he never bothers me. Um, even when I'm working now, he just sits on the side of the chair with me and it's cute. Doesn't try to get my my keyboard, my clothes. But who does bother us? Bird. Bird bothers us a lot, but we love her. We do. We love her. I actually had a horrible nightmare. I'm going to share it with you. Huh? A horrible, horrible nightmare and it made me realise how much I loved Bird. I need to let her out actually. Yeah, I only put her away because she's eating. Yeah. Um, Come on, and buddy. I was in the kitchen and I looked over and my daughter screams, Bird! And I looked over and Gizmo's got Bird in his in, a, in a, his hand and Bird's like, looks like all the blood sucked from her. She really loves it. There she goes. Super Bird! Here we go. Here she comes again, flying by for the rescue. <laughs> <She looks sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bird, by the way. She's the one we we're talking about that she, wow. Okay, fly away, Bird, fly away. She is pissed. She's like, nope, leave me alone. <laughs> uh, the mom beats me. Oh, I've got, I've got another one that I'm gonna probably share tomorrow if mom beats me. And hopefully it's the last one, because he hasn't, Ooh. Actually said it today. No. He's been saying it at least twenty to thirty times a day. Maybe Officer Gibby's back and I think Officer Gibby is back. And leaving that one on the desk. But um yeah, he, he says that because he, he what he does is he enjoys our reaction and I always respond to that. Oh you know mom loves you, don't you? I love how when people say mom beats me it flags it and I have to like approve the <laughs> <laughs> The chat. <laughs> oh gosh. Gosh. Um. Yes. Yes. Can you turn around? I wish you'd say one of the first things when I asked him to turn around is, and I caught it on camera, is like, don't shout at me. 
Maybe I could just, I'll put the camera a little bit. Oh, yeah, no. put it on the other side. Put it over here so we can see him a little bit better. He's literally saying, Mom feeds me. Yes! Mom, and he always glitches out completely on purpose with the mom loves me. He knows how to say it, but he never finishes it. He just says, Mom loves. Giz, you're handsome. Can I give you a little booby? <gasps> Yeah, so Rose, when we um, when we're editing his videos, it really triggers him. So it's a lot of the times I wear headphones, and then still he knows. It's crazy. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, are you okay? What happened there? He's angry at those ads. <laughs> He's angry at those ads. Like, look at him. He's pissed at him. I'm telling them they're old dads, they're not new ones. They're, um, oh, what was Rose's question? Um, yes, that was a good question, Rose. Um, but yeah, it really does trigger him. And it, do you know what's weird? He almost knows like what comes next, even though everything he says every day is different. It's weird. Giz is mad at capitalism. Yup. You show him, Giz. You have ADHD? So does me and Kate. I'm, we should actually, I would, love to, I would love to know that. No, we have to do a survey on that. I would love to do a survey on that. How many people in the bird community have ADHD? Because I talked to somebody um, from an ADHD company today actually and mentioned that about our community and he was like, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's, I've met so many people. <laughs> so the mum beats me, she say ads beat me. Yes. <laughs> I know. I don't like ads too, but please watch Kiss Nice. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, he hates ads, but please watch his. I wish they were like, I wish the ads were like, here's my duo the ads. That would be so cool. And he could get paid for them. But yeah, they do help us a lot, you guys, so. Yeah, they do help. And it's a way to contribute back that doesn't cost you anything, just a little bit, like a minute of your time. He's your spirit animal. Are you a grumpy, a grumpy person? Because that's what I feel. Well, I don't know, Gizmo's like, he's like a grumpy old man, but then he's got a real fun side to him. He's like that granddad. At Christmas, that just cracks all those jokes. Do you, do you have um, premium, Kate? Yes, yeah, she Giz does. You do? Yeah. yeah, Gizmo has ads, yeah. He does. He's monetized now. Yeah, it is a way to like... It it's is... not a lot. We don't get a lot because obviously our views are the best. Um, and we don't... We haven't hit the uh, past 100,000 subscribers yet, but... It does help him, and it and it we actually grow um, with his money. Um, what was it called? Um, an air purifier today. Yeah. Everything that Gizmo makes goes into things for Gizmo. So so far we've brought the play stand. We've brought um, his whole vet visit was paid by him, which really helps because. Being a mum of four, and I only work part time because I have two children with epilepsy, and and they both have Chiari malformation. I don't know if many of you know about Chiari malformation. Mal malformation. <laughs> I don't normally say that out loud, but um, my my daughter when she was six years old, she had brain surgery twice, and it, it made working really hard, and that's how I become in this world and work with creators online so I can work from home. Giz, why are you trying to do a power nap? Gizzy. So yeah, so my two youngest, um, they both have, they had epilepsy from a year and a half. Uh, my son had it, has it really, really bad. Both of them are controlled now. Um, 
both of them are controlled, thankfully. At one point, I was having two children under three years old having seizures. It was terrible. But, um, yeah. We've been through a lot as a family, but hey, we're still here. Do trying to make people smile. Do you might need some, some snuggles. You need some snugs? Yeah. Birds flying high. You know how I feel. Like, I wish I could do a siren, Giz. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, the head's down. That's a good sign. Hi, baby. What would Gizmo get if he was at McDonald's? I know. I know. Let's say it Oh, it's so hard, actually. No. Okay, chicken nuggets and fries? Shoot, yeah. I was going to say, let's say it on three. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He would, he would definitely get chicken nuggets and fries. He loves both. He loves the carbs and the fries. And he loves chicken. <laughs> he, lo he loves bread too. He loves just carbs. You'd eat a chicken burger too, wouldn't you? You'd probably throw the legs out though. Oh, look at that. Look at that. How much did the whole setup cost? Like the cost of his cage or like gizmo and everything else? Because we can definitely break that cost down to you. The thing is, right, if you're ever going to consider getting a bird, this is, I'm going to say this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read comments too. So if you're ever considering getting a bird, people think the younger the bird, the better they're going to bond with. That is completely, absolutely, oh, I thought you said balls. Um, that's rubbish. It's absolutely bull. Look at me and Gizmo. We haven't been together a year, but we are fully bonded. He... Like, head down, straight away. He loves me. If this was anybody else, he'd try taking their finger off. So I would say, look at any rescue place you can think of, right? Google it. You know, parrot rescues in my area. Because these are clever. Any, any, all birds, um, they're, they're like magical to me. Birds are amazing. They're so clever and they have such soul. So, whatever age you are, I would recommend adopting a bird at the same age because they live basically the same, unless you're going for like a conya that doesn't live as long. If you're going for an African grey, try and get one at a similar age to you because losing you can make their hearts broken and they can die. And they can fully bond with you. And the, sorry, I was taking the, the long way around this, but they are so much cheaper through a parrot rescue because they don't go for profit. They just go to run their, their centers. So they're normally half the price and everything is included. So the cage that they're already in um, and they will give you the food that they're already on. And at the end of the day, you're doing an amazing thing and they know they know that you're, it may take a time, it may take a long time, but they know. Like Gizmo knows how much I love him and he knows that like I rescued him and then he rescued me. Like we have an unbelievable bond and he was 16 years old. So don't ever let age put you off. Yes, having a baby absolutely adorable i would absolutely loved just a little baby that would trust me to like just play catch with their it eyes. their eyes so cute. i could turn them upside down i can't turn gizmo upside down he'd be like what the heck are you doing to me you weird woman but um as far as i don't know if you were on our last live but the the average like a parrot in its lifetime will be rehomed seven times seven times so and what makes it worse is if they choose to bond with you and then they're rehomed and rehomed it's just heartbreaking for them all right i'm coming back i'm coming back in so i can't read the comments when i'm giving them love he's a good boy 
And you know what? The best way to bond with them, don't ask in anything return. Let them make all the first moves. Let them make, you know, all those, all those moments where you just want them to love you, you want to stroke them, don't push that. You just talk to them. You just reassure them every single day. Whenever they make a sound, you, you respond in a positive way. They love it. That's the best advice I could give anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Never push them. Never push them. They... I, I can only compare it to a five, six-year-old child. They would not trust and love you straight away. That would take a long time to build that trust for them to call you mum or dad. Yes, Giz, you're completely agreeing in you. Oh. Look, he's, can you see that? That does it. I know he's just loving love right now. He's loving love. And that's what it's about. And never, and this, sorry, I get passionate about this. Never, ever get a parrot because they might talk. Not everybody, I know Gizmo's not talking now, but not every parrot talks. It's actually rare to get a, like a really good talker. Gizmo, I think, is only blessed in speech because he was so neglected and that was that was his his way of trying to just get some form of attention so don't ever get a parrot for talking the only way you can guarantee to get a talking bird is to adopt a talking bird that already talks you can't guarantee that and do you know what? People get them. Oh, they're not talking because they're not putting the time, the effort, the love, the attention, the care, the needs. And they're just like, I'm bored of it. It's not talking. And again, that one gets put up. So, sorry, I get passionate about that because this little girl, this little girl here, she doesn't talk, but she gets so much attention she gets so much love and they they are amazing they're amazing in different ways she's very smart she's a, she's slyer than gizmo so I keep saying I'm gonna that thing, I really yeah you really do i gotta just order the stuff i'm gonna do that right now and uh, yeah and they only talk when they feel like it yeah she says up 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 Oh, right, no, she just want to up up, as you could hear. <sighs> it is a good thing to be passionate about. And you know what? If you get given a platform in any shape or form, don't ever use it for self-gain. Use it to spread things you're passionate about. And Gizmo came into my life. I didn't think anybody was going to be interested in our personal journey. But people was. So now we're trying to do good things. And we're using everything we can to educate and to give back. Because, you know, I'm more than happy just to have Gizmo as my pet. And I never, I don't make him work. People think, oh my gosh, is he ever off his, his cage? Yes. You can follow, well, we, we put stories up where you can see he's off it. He just talks a lot on his cage. And that's what I do. When he's talking, I just put my phone up, record him. That's it. Job done. He's not working. He's just being himself. So. In you, Giz. Hi. Hi. He is going to be 17. My little teenage boy. You know what the vet said? The vet said he's got a cleavage. Guess <laughs> <laughs> you got a cleavage. Um, yes, absolutely all, all, all animals. We, gosh, when I first moved to Canada, do you know what? I'll tell you this because we're here. Um, when I first moved to Canada, I really wanted to have a dog. Um, so we looked into getting a dog and then 
I came across, it was on Kijiji actually, I came across two elderly dogs. And one was 12 and one was 13. And one was a, a dachshund like our bean now, and one was a, a mini schnauzer. Um, the schnauzer had epilepsy and heart and liver condition, I think. And the dachshund was absolutely fine. They were both kenneled, so they were in their little, what do you call them, cage things? Kennels? Uh -huh. They were always stuck, just like Gizmo stuck in that for most of their life because their owner says oh they just use your house as a toilet so we just keep them in here until we let them out and um we, we got them and we had one year with the schnauzer but he, she had the best last year of her life the best last year and we had two years with the dachshund so they lived to be th both 14 yeah. yeah both 14 years old so yeah all animals, all animals. It's only because I'm talking with bird people or people that love gizmo that I was just saying that. I also rescue teenage girls too. And I've got a 17 year old girl that lives with me. So I do it in human, bird and dog form. <laughs> so if you think of anything else, I just can't have cats and because no. I'm allergic to them. I do take care of you. <laughs> but yeah, my, so my friends, um, I won't go into it, but um, my friend, my daughter's, my 17 year old daughter's friend had, a, you know, she, she's, she was having a tough time. I, I can't go into details, but um, she now lives with us and she's very, very happy, secure, loved. So yeah. Always, and that's the thing, you need to, I don't know, I don't know about anybody else. I didn't want a single thing for my birthday, but if I give, I get so much joy in giving, it, whether that's superficial stuff or just my time and love, that's, that's just what makes me happy. Gold star, I can be very moody sometimes when I'm hormonal, which I am right now, which is probably why I'm a little bit emotional. Sorry, I missed your comment. Um, you get yes, and that's I think that's what this world needs because I just, oh my gosh. Me and Carl were talking about it today that we just feel like something's brewing in our world and it's scary. Like the earthquakes and, and like the technology and we feel like something with the government and everything is just going to be like crazy. So we're just trying to live now. And if there's an, a plan of if things go south, as long as you love and you have no regrets and you just love your loved ones, tell people how you feel. That's the best way. So, end times, yes. I believe, I don't want to be depressing, but I feel like we're, um, I feel, I just, I have a feeling like something's scary. He's, can you hear him grinding his beak? It's a sign of contentment. I actually hate that sound. I love it. <laughs> he loves it, I hate it. Because it reminds me of my best friend, she had cerebral palsy. I lost her when I first moved to Canada. She, Gosh, she, how old was Marsha? She was only 40, weren't she? She's like 41 now. No, she... Yeah. No, she hadn't turned 41. We were there for a 40th and then we moved... Oh, I don't even know. She was 40 or 41. And she had cerebral palsy. But again, I was brought up. My mother was an amazing woman. And she brought me up to never look at people with differences. So my best friend had cerebral palsy. She was in a wheelchair. She was black. And um, where I brought up, there wasn't that many black people back then. And um, I didn't see a disability once. And, uh, oh my gosh, yeah. Where was I going with this, babe? I had a big... I thought he was 
Oh yeah. <laughs> you went way too See, sorry, I went way too deep. Is the, that's the ADHD. So um, so at night time, because I had many a sleepovers with her, um, she would grind her teeth, and that sound reminds me of that. And I remember being a teenage girl, being like, shush. Sorry, what did, um, what is scary? You got people threatening war. Yep, natural disaster. Yes, it is, it is scary. That, that, that earthquake was horrendous. I'm an Aquarius too. We're a little dramatic, but we're special. Um, I have... No, I don't, and I've, I don't, and, and this is, like, um, I remember crying when, um, I had four kids, and I remember crying to my mom, because I, I, I was at that point where I was at the hospital with, with one of them, because, um, the two youngest have multiple things wrong with them, like, my little boy's got epilepsy, ADHD, Chiari malformation, um, CDC, uh, what else? Asthma. Acid reflux. <laughs> oh my gosh, acid reflux, which really bothers him. And my little girl has Chiari malformation, who she's the one that had the, the surgery twice. And um, epilepsy. And then my middle... The third one has, um, she has scoliosis. They, I think every teenage child has um, anxiety and depression now because that's just the world we live in. And my eldest, um, she had seizures as a, a, a young child, but then she didn't have any more. And I remember crying to my mum going, is it me? Did I do all this? And she was like, no, God only gives you what you can handle. And you've been chosen to deal with all this. I'm like, oh, cheers. Thank you. But we do it. We do it. You might have to talk. Because I, like, f from afar. Yeah. If it's delayed, it's because Carl's going to read. Because I'm going to, I think if I just walked away from him slightly, he just knows I'm here and he's just being all content and loved. Oh, Lily Lee's birthday's on the 26th. On the 26th. My uncle's birthday's on the leap year. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, that would be a cool birthday to be honest. Yeah, because you could officially, like, once you get to that older age, you could be like, no, and cut all those years off. Yeah, you're like, I'm only 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if I was like, if we had a kid that was a leap year, I'd be like, well, it's not your birthday until four years. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, I'm sorry. If I had... Imagine if your children were born on that. I'd be like, I'm sorry, but you were born on this day. Yeah, you got to wait. Just, you just got to wait four years. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude. People it's like me. the Olympics. Come on. I'd be plant like if I was a woman and having a baby and like I would do around that time, I'd plant a cesarean for that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very rare birthday. It is rare. Oh, yours is on a leap year. Well, watch everyone in the chat be a leap year birthday, and we'd be like, oh, it's not that rare. No, it's, um, I always thought it was my grandfather, but it was my uncle. He was on the, tw my grandfather was the 25th. My oh. youngest leap year. I love when people say watching I'm the like fourth hubby is. Ah, we're close, Cynthia. I'm the six. I love when, um, people say Giz is like their therapy. It's the oh. So sweet. And so it is. Though. And and this is another, and I don't care, like, true people that love Gizmo will understand that Gizmo doesn't talk 24 hours a day. Oh. Is it Teresa? Uh, I think it's Colton. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to... To the door, please. Oh, he might not have the new clothes. He does. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, she might pee. She hasn't seen you for a while. Who? Uh, our dog excitement pees. <laughs> it's so annoying. She's two years old now, and you'd think she wouldn't excitement pee. Um, 
He's definitely not a performing monkey. No, and we don't make him. We try and encourage him for like when we're live and stuff for you guys. Um, and we'll we'll do what we can to encourage it. But we don't make him. If he doesn't talk, he doesn't talk. Hey Giz. But um let me just I just love you. I just love you, Bismarck. I just love you. For those that don't know what African greys feel like, they everyone thinks they feel really soft. They do to a certain extent, but very dusty. Oh, we just smacked beaks. You are? Okay, so I'm gonna um Yay. Oh thank you. Someone just sent a gift. Oh. Did you we missed it? It was um Okay, I'm not very good at pronouncing names and I'm, I never want to offend anyone. Sometimes I have to say you need to break it down like a toddler for me. But thank you so, so much. I would say... Nay? Nej? Nej Huang? Nej Huang? It's a cool name. Yeah, they're from uh, Seoul, Korea. Ah. Oh. You do the best food. Maybe it's Nishuan. I love Korean food. Jesse, why are you more clever than me? Hmm? Why are you more clever than me? Cool with me. Lots of Koreans as well. Yes. Yeah, Canada is very multicultural, and that's what I love. Because being brought up in England, and I, I lived in the southwest of England, and obviously there's not going to be many people here that, that know because they'd be asleep. But it was very white. Very white. I'm white, but like, like I said, my best friend was black, her whole family, and I loved the culture from a very early age. And knowing my kids don't see any difference between any race is beautiful to me. Absolutely beautiful. I did a test once and you know the LOL dolls? I had a black one and a white one. And I said to, to my daughter, Jessie, and I was like, what is the difference between these two dolls? Nej. Nej. Love that name. Yeah. Nej. Yeah. Thank you so much. So I asked her what the difference between this black doll and this white doll was. And she just talked about their outfits and the color of Nej. their hair. Nej. Nej. <laughs> Am I saying it wrong? Because no, you, you keep just, saying it. No, I, I, I'm just trying to look it up because I want to say it right. Oh, he's Googling it? Yeah. You love their donuts? I've not had one. Now I need one. Mom. Wow, you can really see our blurred out. And it looks like we have loads of alcohol on that shelf. That's literally one line of it. If you look, I'm going to try and point my finger. See there? I just looked at it. It looks like there's loads. And that is from New Year's Eve where all our friends came around and that's all their rejects. What well, they will probably never drink you, again. You never drink them. Uh-uh. Nope. Never. Been there for two years. <laughs> <laughs> you dead with some bath? Yeah. Ah. Where where do you live now, Boston? Is it mm. New York? Or is that am I just It says Boston Terrier girl. Oh Boston Terrier. I just, I just saw Boston. I didn't know if they were like Boston girl. I just saw mm. Boston. You know, I've got a very limited attention before it, f and you only see like a couple of lines, and then it goes. Not but very similar accents. No. <laughs> All right, go, go lie down then. Okay, My baby. Your body feels heavy. Your body feels heavy. Then go take the weight off it, baby. <laughs> Yes, look at those shoulders. Did you work out today? My birthday was weird. I'm not gonna lie. My birthday was weird. And you know what? I really want to get over it, but I didn't even know how to get over it. I was born in New England, not to Boston, now living in Nebraska. Wow! Right, okay. 
I'm going to try, if you can just be patient with us. I really, he's so due to talk. It's just, he knows. Well, he stopped talking about food and donuts and coffee because that sounds so good. I was born in Pakistan and now living in America. Ah. I was born in England and I'm now living in Canada. Born in Salim. Salem? Salim? Ma? Salem. Salem. <laughs> oh. Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to be all like cultural then, but it's <laughs> in America. Oh, my love. It's okay. You don't uh, know much about the US. I don't actually. know much about the US. I was very shielded. I was a Jehovah's Witness my whole life, and then I. <laughs> Like, and you didn't see much and you wasn't allowed to and you're not allowed to like know normal life and then I was a teenager and yeah you have a double yellow headed parrot that never talked and hated me oh gosh oh, wow wow how old was your bird when you got it? Might have had a really traumatic past. Do you ever return? Do you get it? No, that's another sad story. I'm full of sad stories. Um, so we moved here. It'd be five June. Five June. It'd be five years. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the first year we were just finding our feet. The second year we were here. Jesse had brain surgery. And then the third and fourth year, and we're just coming into the fifth year now, the pandemic happened. So we never had a chance to really go back. And now my mum died unexpectedly in the pandemic and I wasn't allowed to fly back for a funeral. So now I kind of don't even want to go back there. So, yeah. I would love to. My dad's still there. But it's just hard. It's really hard because my mum was like not even old and it wasn't she wasn't even ill. She had early dementia, so she her memory wasn't that great, but she was still my mum and um it was hard to leave her. Oh gosh. Um, it was really hard to leave, but she, she, she was like, no, the kids go, go be happy. So I did thinking I'm just going to go visit her. So when that happened and then it was right in the, the worst pandemic when no one was allowed to travel. And, um, I really, really tried. So it's really hard to accept that. So I don't, I still don't like, it's hard to explain when you haven't been to your mum's funeral. My dad had it live streamed, which was weird. So, thank you, Alan. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Alan. But yeah, it's 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 one of those things. It's hard to um, it's hard to accept they're gone when you haven't said goodbye. So that's why I don't want to go home. Because she, she won't be there. Oh. Oh. Whew. I'm good. I'm good now. Kiss. He's having a groom. All right, I'm going to try and trigger him. If you can talk to the chat. Um, I'm just going to go. I'm sorry. 
Yes. Yeah, I'm not the only one. So many people, and I'll just make this point as well. It wasn't just funerals that people got ripped off on. It was weddings. People planned their whole life for that. Well, not the whole life. People planned their wedding for years. And, um, you know, you can rearrange your wedding. It's not as hard, but you can't rearrange your, your funeral. Um, but, yeah, it affected so many people. And I... Th <laughs> I still think to this day, the mental health and all the after effects from that period of time is really going to affect us for a long time. It is financially now. Everything's gone expensive. Oh my gosh. I'm going to stop being depressing. Can you like... Yeah, stop being depressing. I'm trying not to. It just comes up. No, I know. It's okay. My water. Gizzy, can you break... Can you say something to uh, change the atmosphere, my little boy? Let's give a snack. Can you, can you? Uh, what about how, how we are, snack? Snack. Do a snack? Let's trigger him with a snack. Snackies. It should be on that bottom shelf there, in the, in the, like, toward the other side. I saw him earlier. Somebody put him away. Oh, yeah. I put that. What's up? <laughs> Insta. What's up? Insta. So how much he loves food? Can you give a bird one, two, oh. she loves them, too? Oh! Yeah, I will. I'm going to give bird one first. Girl, bird. I'm coming, hang on one second, okay? You just need to um, be a little bit patient there. Come on, I love his new command. Come on. I think he says it like me now, because I go, come on. Yeah. Hello. 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 Oh, bam. Giz is kind of like that too, where he doesn't really like, he'll eat fresh fruits and vegetables and he's been doing so much better, but he would rather not. And he hates his pellets. I absolutely hates his pellets. <laughs> but I have to do my best to try to mix them into his food for him to get the nutrients. But yeah, keep on trying, bam.
here. I feel like all you've done this evening is eat. Now you're going to need a snack bowl. Lisa thought these snacks were mashed. Yeah, he's not impressed. Yes? Can you sing me a song? You haven't sung a song for ages. Want to pass you? Pass <laughs> <laughs> you? Is Officer Gibby in there? Is Officer Gibby there? Officer Gibby. Come on. Come on, Officer Gibby. Wait, oh, guys, I have it. You want me to play you a little Officer Gibby sound? Here we go. What's that? Guess, come on. Goodbye. Guess word. Guess word. Guess word. Where's the police? Where'd the police go? Where's the police? We should just play different sounds for Gibby on Buzz. Yeah. I could do that. I could pull up like fun sounds. Okay. What? Well, um, let's do a bomb drop. Now let me get him back up. Cause that that's not like you can play sound effects. You can play sound effects. Do you want to come up? Get your snack. One second. That's actually a good idea. What's that? Well, like we could just play a bunch of sound effects. We like seeing his what he does to him. Come on. Up. You're all screwed. Let's ask the chat. Guess I can't. Lasers. La oh, good lasers! One. Hang on, hang on. He's caught. Oh, do you need help? Yeah, but you're not gonna be able to help me. What's he caught on? But he's. On my hand the wrong way, and I can't adjust it. Come here, good boy. And that one, there we go. There we go. All right, these are sounds. Here we go, guys. Ooh. No rush. <laughs> Good lasers like no. yours. These are, this is horrible. Wait, how about this one? What you doing? We're just trying to find sounds. What you doing? <gasps> These are horrible sounds. Ooh. Oh, what is that sound?
Where's three. the happy lasers? Hey? Where's the happy lasers? Let's try it for one baby. You want a statue? Um, I'm okay, thank you. Do you want a stachio? Did you want one? Was that for you? You just put the tap on it would have been quicker <laughs> water what's this guess Your turn, Gage. Your turn. trigger him. <laughs> She's making me want to go to the toilet. Your turn. <laughs> Your turn, Gage. Guess what does the fox say? <laughs> Can you only say one? <laughs> well, he does three, four, and five, but he just doesn't say any at the minute. I know. 
I think it's because he is is content enough when we say two and we respond to him. Mm-hmm. My boy. <laughs> Can you sing us? <gasps> Who let the birds out? Can you sing that? Let me find a video. Should we find a video of you singing that? See if that can with you. Maybe the police clip is on. Oh, I thought you were finding one. Oh, I thought you were finding one. I was waiting for you. Here he is. Officer Gibby! Officer Gibby! Officer Gibby! Where are you? <laughs> What's that, Giz? Oh, he's not doing it. My no. boy. My boy. He's over it. I'm trying to sell this. Over it. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> Someone said you're not a good salesman, then, Giz. You're over it. Um, I don't think what song we so true as soon as we end the live he'll be talking his head off oh he will every time every single time oh sorry sorry we're just blowing everybody's ears out with all these sound effects (laughs) maybe we should just Uh, good night caprice thanks for being here with us finish it and if he does then we just do a quick one while he's talking and we'll just keep it there or we just tell the chat to be patient with us and we literally walk away okay and like me and you both like just walk away okay we're, we're going to try one more trick if it doesn't work it doesn't work but when we're not normally in the room they try and get our attention he's doing that Good night, Jamie. Goodbye. We're going to bed now. Good night.
sink me like. Come say hi. See you later, baby. Hang on, did this thing go up anymore? Hi. See you later. You want to stab? I don't want to stab. Do you want to stab? Ooh. Where are you going? Super bird. watching you.
Was that good? Was that okay?
one. I said, come on, and you said, here we go, so you've never done that. Drink? What she want? She's just screaming. What do you want? Okay. Hang on, he's just got a. What you doing? Are you still breathing? Come on. Come on. Come on. It's Scrabble. Come on, Bean. Come on. Come on, Bean. Come on. What? Here we go.
Basically, yeah. Give me one more song. Right. One more song. That was good. Come on. Can you sing another song? watching you. Come on, reach, reach. <laughs> what does she do? Yes, don't to choose this time to grow. Yes. Wow. Mom? No. Sometimes he said that, I thought. Mom being friends.
You tell her if you need to, guess. You tell her. Oh, I think you're too young, guess. Bird, you are out. You're free. Come on. Goodbye. See you later. Fly then, bird. Gears, she's annoying. There is no need. Come on. You're sweet. You don't do no loud squawks. Mmm, I know. I've got a few choice words to say too. Right? Come on. I love that. You changed it. I know, I'm sorry, Giz. She's annoying, I know. She's just being rowdy for no reason. Giz, what? What have you got to say? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Say hi. Hi. There she is. Hi. Come here. Hi, baby. You're a good boy. <laughs> oh, Giz, I love the way you just learn every day. What? What? That he laughs like me and says, come on, like you. He says a lot of things like you, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Super bird. What was that? Do you have a song? Is that Bean? Come on, Bean. Come on, come on Bean. Come on, Bean. Here we go. Come on. Come on, I catch cat. Yes. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Bean? Come on. 
No. No way. Yeah, you tell him. No. Tell her, right? Come on. I can't come in there. I can't come. It is awkward. Bye. What are you doing in there? I can't come in there. I can't come in there. Giz, this is a little forward. Giz. You're floating now. Goodbye. Oh, it's just having a little snack, guys. Oh my gosh. Hang on. <laughs> he said some classics. He did. He said some classics. Yes, come here, I'll give you a tree. Let me get you a tree. Come on. Do you want a staff? <laughs> you want a staff? You can have a tree. You as a good boy. Yay, Gizzy, that was a fun show. Come on. I'm coming. Can you sing me a song now? Hi, Cindy. Oh, Cindy, you've missed him. He was on one. <laughs> he was on one. You can have a good treat, my good boy. That was fun, guys. Good job, Alpha Ziggity. Good job. Oh, that was so. He said some classic. That was good, guys. Super bird. One more time, bird. One more time. Here we go. Super bird. Do, 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 do. Everybody you know loves I'll it. Ever do that again. They love you, Superbird. Not when you squawk in so loud. <laughs> Can I show you a picture of Superbird? Yeah, show them because it's so funny. Um, okay. Um, 
What's he called? Pistol, Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete. How cool is that? <laughs> How cool is Superbird? Oh. Mm -hmm. I can't do it that way. Hang on. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wish I could do it to gaze. <laughs> Like little holding a little handbag. <laughs> Tell I think if we, I think he used like an AI thing to like describe bird and stuff, which is so funny. <laughs> this is so cute. The only thing missing is his red tail. Oh yeah, we have to get that. Let's just cut that bit off. So cute. So cute. And then we have this artist drawing Gizmo right here. Like literally, like literally drawing that. If you look, with like pencils, <laughs> pencils, not even digital art, which is like way more impressive nowadays because digital art is so much easier. Still challenging. <laughs> wow. Sorry, that was not nice. Here's a picture of me and my baby girl. My little princess. I think she's been using that forging wheel really well, actually. Look who called me, and I'm in my pajamas and mum hair. That's Cabby. Cabby LeMay. He called me, and I'm just, like, not looking so good. That's the, um, if some people might not know who he is, but he's the number one TikToker in the world. <clears throat> 154 million followers, crazy. But we work with him. <laughs> He's one of our talent that we represent. And Emily does. Emily represents him. He's my friend. Well, yeah, and he's a friend. Yeah, exactly. G Gizzy's gonna beat him out. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I would love that, actually. I would love that. Cabby and Charlie, just... like, Charlie D'Amelio's like, really? Now I'm in third place? Look, <laughs> all, the only milestones I want is to get to 500,000 on Instagram, 1 million on TikTok, and 100,000. Come need on. To. That's, like, our goals. Right, we just need to walk away a second because he's trying to manipulate us. Mr. Gray, you done with your um, snack there, boy? You doing another show or are you done? Are we done? You tell us, Mr. Gray. Oh, why is Bird Lake you on that perch for some reason? <laughs> One, two. Goodbye. Bye, Gizzy. Right, we're going to see if he talks any more. Bing, come on. Bing, you don't want to even. Come on. All right, you say that. Goodbye, Giz. Goodbye. Can we both say bottle of water? Say what? Bottle of water. Are you trying to trick me? So the yeah, what? can you both say bottle of water? Bottle of water. Say hi. Bottle of water. Bottles of water. Well, wait, say water bottle. Water bottle. Wobble. No, I don't say wobble, do I? No, Come on, Giz. Have my back here. Giz word. Come on, baby. Hi. Ooh. Love you. I do. Come on. Hi. Ooh, she could. Come here. I can't whistle. I can't. I can't do it, Giz. I can't do it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh, 
guess. Come on. Come on now. Here we go. Bean, where are you? Come on. Come on. Come on, Bean. Come on. Are you a criminal? <laughs> oh, Bud is a criminal. Did he say criminal? I swear I said criminal. Are you a criminal? Bud?